right, here we go. So my name is Peter Mayer. I'm a software engineering student at Kenzie Academy. And I have coded a basic hangman game in Python uh, just to show the basics of Python for everybody. And I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, so first thing, we are going to run all these cells and play the game and just show you what I've made. Uh, so we enter our name first, and then we start guessing. Uh, so it's time to play. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hello. Oh, we back. Back? OK. So uh, the first thing we want to do is guess a letter. And remember, it's SpongeBob characters. So give me a letter. P. That is an incorrect guess. So the, the idea behind Hangman, for those who don't know, is there is a secret word, and you're trying to guess all the letters in that word, and uh, you have five chances to guess that. If you get a letter wrong, it adds a, uh, a piece to the Hangman, and once your Hangman is completed, you lose. Um, so give me another letter. K, I heard K. K was right, uh, so give me another one. We got a Q back there. Anyone else? M right here. M was good. A, I heard an A. A is good. He thinks he's got it. Mr. Krabs, let's see. I think he's right. Yes, you are correct, and you have escaped the hangman's noose, and you're running away now. So let's step through one more time and see a losing condition real quick. Let's pretend we keep guessing P over and over, and now we have a full hangman, and we've lost. The right answer was Barnacle Boy. Oh, no. Okay, so let's uh, step through the code real quick and uh, hit on some basic Python topics. Uh, so the first thing we're doing here at the start is we're importing the, the random module. We're going to use that later to pick from a list of SpongeBob characters down here. We're using random choice uh, to, spick, to pick from all of these SpongeBob characters. Um, so. Uh, that is what we're doing with import random. You can import all sorts of different modules and use those functions from those modules in your code, and it helps a lot uh, when you're developing. Uh, so you don't have to write all the functions yourself. You can use other people's code. Uh, so first, we are going to define the, the hangman loser string, this little ASCII guy here, and uh, we're going to print him off uh, just to see. That was for development purposes, to see that hangman guy. Uh, then we're going to define some more variables here. We're going to define hangman loser list, which is actually splitting our loser string up here on the new characters. So basically every line here will be an item in our list. Um, and then the body ca part count is basically how many guesses you've got, and that is just going to be the length of that list. And then we've got our winner string. Uh, it's pretty basic. It's just your, your ASCII character running away. And then we've got part two. We're going to start defining our main function. This is really uh, the main function of our program here, what handles most of our logic. Um, so we define a secret string. And like I said before, we're randomly choosing uh, from a list of characters. We have SpongeBob, Mr. Krabs, Patrick, Squidward, Sandy, Mermaid Man, and Barnacle Boy in there. Um, and from that, uh, from that secret string, I'm going to turn it into a list. Uh, and from that uh, word or that I've made, or from that list that I made from the string, this should really be secret list. Um, I'm going to make a secret set. What this is going to do is it's going to remove duplicate characters there. Um, and then I'm just going to step through this briefly. Uh, we'll initialize the game state. Uh, then we're going to use a helper function to print the username input, or to get the username input, and then uh, print out the welcome stuff. Uh, and then we've got this while loop starting here. Now, a while loop is a pretty standard uh, programming concept. Basically, a while loop is going to, it says, while this condition is true, execute uh, this block of code. And this block goes down to here. So while this turns remaining is true, while there are turns remaining, we want to execute this entire block of code. So let's step into this block here and... Then we'll come down here and see another. Oh, well, I should also mention what print does. Print is what actually prints something onto the screen for us and displays something uh, to our user. Um, the other, uh, another uh, important concept to, to learn about in programming is if and else statements here. Uh, so an if statement says if 
this is in secret. So basically this says if this current guess, if the user's current guess is in our secret set that we made earlier, uh, then we're going to step into this line of code and execute all of this. Uh, if it's not in secret set, if your guess is not in the secret set, we're going to step into the else case. So we're going to print wrong. You're going to lose a turn, and then it's going to step uh, step out of that block and move through the rest of the code here. Um, so if there's no more turns remaining, we're going to print out of turns and give you the right answer. And otherwise, we're going to check for a win condition. To do that, we're going to check if there are any blanks left in our displayed word list. Um, and where, if that's the case, we're going to print out the win condition stuff. Uh, we also define a couple more helper functions down here. There's uh, some more, um, I believe there's some other refactoring opportunities in this code base to factor out some more functions, make it a little cleaner. Um, but for now, I, it's, it's close to where I want it to be. Um, so we're through to the helper functions. I've got some time left. So any, any questions, concerns, anything that uh, sticks out to anybody is strange here? Anybody? Uh, because I'm a little older and that was the thing when I was growing up, I guess. <laughs> His question was, why did I choose SpongeBob? Uh, it was a pretty simple question. Um, let's see. Any other questions about what you, yes? Why didn't I, so the question was, why did I not uh, program in ASCII characters for each of the characters? That's because, uh, well, that's. Yes, you could do that. That is a great opportunity. So what I want you to do is go to github.com slash p dash mayor slash hangman, and you can find this code, and uh, you can actually run it yourself. I've got it set up in a Jupyter notebook there, and it's got the, the collab badge, and you can, you can actually run it yourself and code it yourself. And... <laughs> That would be a, a fun uh, exercise in coding. Uh, definitely requires some Googling, get some ASCII characters to work with, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, that's, there's a lot of, you could go a lot of ways with this. This is a very basic um, program. It's like 80 or 90 lines long, so not a whole lot uh, going on here. Um, but yeah, I. I could uh, step through this a little in more detail. Um, if no one else has any other questions, we have a question. We have something over here. Who, who are you pointing to? This guy? Uh, so yeah, uh, let me put the, pull that up right here, actually. So we'll go to github.com slash p dash mirror slash hangman. And uh, I've put this up on GitHub, which is a place where uh, developers put their code to collaborate. Uh, yep. And so we have in here, we have a git ignore file to ignore some stuff. And we've got the notebook. So we can actually open that up here. And if you want, you can go there and follow along with me. And it'll. this is a static site. We want to open it on the Colab site and see it actually run. So let's go over here. Mm -hmm. Let it load, and then we have to connect. And then, so we have all of that code, and it's running online. And it's this is actually a Python interpreter here with some some fancy like styling on the front end to, to help with presentation. Uh, but you can see here, this is all the code I just showed you, and we can run. Uh, well, it gives us this notification every time. Yes, yes, that's okay. Uh, we can run all this code. Yes, we know. That's OK. Yes. And then, oh, it reset it again. Come on. OK. So we imported random. Let's run through and uh, set up our game again and see if it'll run on here. And so now our game is running on this Jupyter Notebook. And oh, right, you can't see. Whoop, whoop. So now our code, again, I just executed all those cells, and our code is running in our Jupyter Notebook, and hey, it's time to play Hangman again. So you're going to play. Give me a letter. A. Incorrect. Another one. E. Incorrect. Oh, wait, no, sorry, that was correct. <laughs> so my bad. S. 
SpongeBob. I think you got it. Let's just step through. He showed us the answers earlier. Yeah, I know. I, sh I shouldn't have done that. I should have more characters in there, really. Um, and yeah, so SpongeBob was correct. Well done. Uh, we've escaped the hangman's noose again. Um, let's see. What else do we want to touch on here? Any other questions? Yes. Yes, uh, entirely free, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. Yes? Did someone have a question back there? No? Okay. Anything from the board? Oh, it's up on the board. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else do we want to touch on here? Uh, uh, yeah, so for this project, I learned a couple things. The, the first thing I learned was uh, when trying to update, so let me find that one thing here. Da, da, da. When trying to update uh, my display li word list, initially I had it as a string, uh, but strings are immutable in Python, so you can't actually change that in place. Uh, so I had to convert it to a list to actually mutate that, uh, that character and then uh, join it back into a string when I displayed it here uh, to, to get that to function. So I learned a little bit about immutability in Python. And uh, other than that, there was also printing stuff out, trying to get it to look pretty. Um, there was some work that went into that. Um, uh, those were the main things. Also, oh, I learned about the handy enumerate function. I forgot about that one. Where is that? Yeah, so you can grab the index and the character uh, and enumerate through the secret word. So what that's going to do, it's going to give you a for loop and you can access the index, so zero through the length of your secret word and the character, so each character in that string secret word. And we're using that here. So if the character in secret word is equal to current guess, then we're going to update the displayed word list of that index uh, to that character. Uh, so yeah, yes. Uh, it was suggested to me by our great instructor, Piero, here. Uh, I think you've had better results with Colab, right? Yeah. 